So now that we've looked at grid view and details view, uh, we want to look at how we can bring these two things together into a master's detail uh, pages. Uh, so let's start over here with our grid view and our details view uh, that we've worked on in the first two videos. I'm going to rename them. So if I right click and choose rename, I can name it whatever I would like. Uh, in this case, I'm going to call it states.aspx. So I renamed grid view to states. And details view, I'm going to rename to state details. .aspx. Now you'll notice when I renamed them, it also renames the code behind. Uh, so it's a, a good way to go through this interface to do the renames. Don't do it directly in the folder. Uh, the files directly in the folder. And this way everything gets renamed in the code behind and whatnot. Um, and the way I want to set this up is so that states uh, becomes the grid view uh, and it's going to list out uh, maybe a couple of things about the states and then we're going to have a hyperlink field where we can uh, select click that hyperlink and pass the data back to the state details uh, then on the state details page we can list everything about the state the capital state bird state flower all that kind of stuff uh, and make our modifications back there so this grid view is going to turn into more to just basically a list with the ability to uh, click on a hyperlink um, and then in the details view is where we can make our edits and deletes and, and those kinds of things so I want to start out here on the states page then uh, I'm going to get into the grid view and I want to turn off editing and deleting. I'm going to leave sorting uh, so that we can uh, sort by the names or the abbreviations or whatever and I'm going to leave paging so that if there's too many then it'll go to the second page. Then I'm going to edit columns and on this grid view there's not really a need to have the capital uh, the state bird or the state flower. So I'm basically going to leave just these two uh, two columns. Now the other thing I'm going to add now is a link that when you click it will pass the state name back to the state details so we can pull up that other information. So I'm going to do that with a hyperlink field. So click hyperlink field and add. When you do that, then you have a text area. So I'm going to type in view details. As I scroll down now to the data, I can see the data navigate URL fields. I want to pass this primary key uh, because the primary key is how everything in our database is driven. It's how uh, what everything works off of. So state ID was our primary key. Uh, navigate URL format. I'm going to pass it. First, it's the name of the, the uh, page I want to pass to. So state details that ASPX. Then there's a question mark because that's how we identify that what comes next is going to be a query string. And we'll pass state ID equals open curly bracket zero close curly bracket. So what happens now is when you click on this URL that's named view details up here, when you click that URL, uh, it's going to take the state ID it's going to pass the state ID to state details.aspx page. It's going to pass it as a query string. And this over here is just a wildcard character. This zero curly bracket, zero curly bracket, just a wildcard to say whatever comes next. So let's OK that. And we can now see that our, our table looks a little different. So we've set up the grid view to pass the query string. Now we need to set up the details view to accept the query string. So let's get into the state details page, design view. Let's get into the data source, configure data source. We still want to pull up everything. Uh, so we're going to pick the table, state facts. We still want to pull up everything. Um, advanced, we want to insert, generate, update, delete statements. So we want to make modifications back here on the details. Um, we want to go into where. 
state ID equals the query string. So we want to pull up all of the details about the state. We want to generate uh, the insert, update, and deletes about that particular state. We want to do that where the state ID equals what's being passed from the query string. Query string ID field is state ID. We want to add. OK. Next. Test query. Wants us to put in a state ID, so let's put in seven. I think that's one of them. Was appeared to be Missouri, so it looks like the query is working well. We'll finish the and we'll regenerate the fields. I don't need paging in here, but I would like inserting, editing, and deleting. Data source has been chosen. We'll edit the fields. Um, here, really no reason to have the state ID up here. Uh, nobody uses it. It's just on the database back end, the primary key. I want to clean up these um, names again. So let's go postal code. State name. State capital. Um, and then you saw in the fields command field, that's this thing, the edit, delete, and new. We're going to leave it alone. Okay. Save all of this up. Now the theory is when we view states, we'll see a grid view that has a bunch of state names on it where we can click on the hyperlink. When we click on the hyperlink, the state ID associated with that name will get passed to state details. The state details uh, data source is set to take that state ID, get into the database, uh, look up everything about that ID and populate um, the, the details view where then we can edit, we can delete it, we can do uh, or we can create a new one. So let's give this a test. We saved everything up so let's view states. Actually we need to do one thing first. While we're here on this details view we need to get into the source code and make our modifications for the insert. Remember on the insert with access, it tries to insert something into that auto numbered primary key field. So we need to delete that from the insert. We need to delete one of the values. And then we need to come under the insert parameters and delete the primary key. Save it. Now let's give it a test. Looks good. So I can click on View Details of California. And now I can see the details of California. I can delete. And when I refresh, California is gone. I can view the details of Illinois. I can edit the details of Illinois. That seems to be working well. The extra L appears, so let's view details. We'll edit, take that off. And I can new. fresh back to 1L and New York is now there so it seems to be working correctly it's just not working very fluidly it's not a lot of uh, it's still missing some functionality um, one of the other things uh, too the only way that we can add a new state is to view a state uh, and then go in so this appears to be 
if we wanted to add a new state we would have to go view an existing and then click new so it's a little awkward so the first thing let's do here is create a new uh, new record so let's close the browser um, state details is what we want to use as our model so let's make a copy of this we'll paste it up here into the root copy of state details let's rename it call it new state get into the design view get into uh, the details view click it to highlight it come down here to the properties and we're looking for default mode default mode is read only we want to set it default mode to insert so this should have it come up with the blank spaces ready to start typing in and we'll save this and let's test it in the browser and it appears to be working correctly now remember our insert is working correctly here because we cleaned it up back here on the details and we just simply made a copy of the details uh, so it includes that cleaned up code uh, for insert so now let's view states and we should see Kentucky and in fact we do so we could leave new here we can also uh, take new off of this grid view uh, which I'll go ahead and do I'm sorry after this details view so now the general flow we go in to see the list of states we click on a state using that hyperlink that hyperlink passes the state ID the primary key to state details the data source on state details takes that query string which is the primary key looks it up lists out all of the details about that state we can edit the state or we can delete the state if we want to add a new state we can come to this page where we have the new state and its default mode is set to insert we can type it in add it and then it appears back on the state table so the functionality is there it's just not very polished so in uh, the fourth video we'll look at adding some uh, additional hyperlinks and some code behind to uh, to really make this thing uh, function well